Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night and welcome to another episode on the Archcraft server. I've not been on for a couple of weeks as I was on my hollybobs and uh, oh my goodness, there is some serious stuff that has gone on here and this is the work of Kenny MC Gaming, link to his channel in the description. He's gone mad, he's given it some right large when it comes on to building so we're going to have a bit of a mooch around today. We're going to have a look around. We're going to see what people have done. I'm going to see if I can find people's bases because Bob and um, Louis have both come on and I ain't got a Scooby-Doo where they live. So that might be interesting. We might see if we can find them. Not a clue. I suspect that could end up in abject failure. And then towards the end, I'm going to try and do something just a little bit more clever where with a few command blocks, I'm going to see if I can make it that if one of us sleeps, all of us sleep which is going to be more than a little bit tricky because I've got to work out how to do it with command blocks. Obviously, I'm going to need to bring the command blocks in, which isn't cheating if you're setting up the server just for the record. But So I'm going to do that at the end. So if you want to know how to do that, assuming I can work it out, which is another thing, then do watch all the way through to the end and hopefully that will be there. And if I fail, I shall put my hands up in the air and request for you guys to tell me how to do it. Right, should we crack on? Let's have a bit of an explore. I'm really ready. I'm quite excited to see what's happened. Right, so I'm approaching this in a... I was going to say a logical way, but it's not a logical way because I'm basically going to wander around. But Kenny has made this garden, um, which is amazing. We've got... We've had... How have you got cocoa beans? Ah, because of the jungle up near one of my places. I know, you little cheeky monkey. Look, we've got a cocoa wall, so we made chocolate. Everyone likes a bit of chocolate, don't they? I like what you've done here, mate. This is looking really nice. Wandering around here. Um, you've done really well. Right, let's have a wander around a little bit of pace, shall we? Right, well, I managed to wander around into night time, and that means things are probably going to try and kill me a lot. So I've got my sword, and I'm ready. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? Oh, Jax is on. He's, he's built loads of stuff. That's really... Right, Kenny is, I would say, one of the most underrated rustic builders that I know. Uh, the guy has got less than 200 subs on his channel and it is, it's a travesty, frankly. This guy is a genuine talent. The guy knows what he's doing. Do go and have a look at him. Do go and see what he's done because he's brilliant. I'm really, really impressed. It is an absolute privilege to have him on the server. Jack says hello. Should we go and see if we can find him? I think we should go and find him. I reckon he must be at home. So I'm going to go and see what else we've got past the spawn. There's uh, Kenny's fountain. And Jax's house is along this way. So I'm guessing what have we got? Hang on. What's this here as well? What have we got here? 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 It is a free stuff shack. What's free? Oh, quite a lot of stuff actually. That's awesome TNT. That's always good. So I'm coming. I reckon Jax is by his house. Now, something has gone. Something's gone on over here, isn't it? Right, so we've got some. Jax has been getting busy with the leaves. He's made. Wow, this is nice. I'm coming, Jax. Right, it's... I like what you've done, mate. This is cool. You've got that. You're like a posh bloke. You're like a posh bloke from down under. Let's come in. Where are you? Where are you? I want to see you. There's your doggy. Where are you? There he is. Hello, Jax. This is officially a collaboration with Jax the legend, who is a legend. <laughs> Show us your stuff. You've been to a temple? You've been to a temple? What's going on? Well, come on in, buddy. He's typing, he's looking over his shoulder in a coy way. 
But I'm going to have a look in here. What have we got in here? What have we got in here? This is cool. <laughs> I like what you're doing, Jax. This is brilliant. I'm going to have a look upstairs. I'm going to have a nose upstairs. Nope, that's not how you spell stairs, is it? But let's have a look up here anyway. This is quite cool. What have we got? It's a big wall. You've got a wall. Also, I know... I know, where's your map? Where's your map? Where's your map? Where's your map? There's your map. Where's the bed? Right, this is nothing personal, but I'm sleeping with Jax. <laughs> this is slightly wrong. This is slightly not quite right. There we go. Sorted. That's that. Let's kick some zombie butt. Right, where are we going, Jax? I'm following you. You're the boss. This is your place. Out we go. There's nothing to it. What's he done here? What's he done here? Go on then. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? He's done himself a little piston bridge. <laughs> this is completely unplanned. Can anybody tell? So what have we got in here? We've got... Right, we're mining. We've got mining. The boy's made bread. He's got another bed in there. What else we got? Oh, this is a safe mine. Let's have a look down. This is a deep end. What we got? What we got? What we got? Right, so let's keep going down. Oh, he's been strip mining. Now this is why people like Jax are so very far ahead of me on the development of their world. <laughs> this is completely unplanned. Impromptu tour. So let's come back up here. This wasn't what I planned for it, but we're having a look at Jax's stuff. And once we've done that, we are going to come back to uh, do a little bit more. I'm just following in him. Have you got a secret door? It's a secret door. <laughs> you missed. There we go. We're in. We're in. That's that's cool. I always do love those um, arrow doors. I'm going to tell him. So, this is good. We've got a little enchantment thing going on. Excellent. You need yourself a little chest of lapis there, Jack, so you can do it whenever you want. And is there anything going on behind here? Yes, there is. There clearly is. So let's have a little cheeky cheek. It is just a hole. Is that just a hole, Jax? I think that's just a hole. Or is it something clever? I mean, it's just a hole. Secret stairs. Yeah, everybody loves a little bit of secret stairs. Oh, what we got? What we got, what we got, what we got, what's this? Ah, right, so this is your farm. With uh, You've got a hopper rail collection system. Loving those, they're very, very good. Right, so that is Jax. He's done loads, look. He's, he's all over it. He's got farms and stuff going on. Good stuff. Right, so let's go and have a look and see what's going on with some of the other archers over this way. So if we come out of Jax's gaff, along the road that I built, thank you very much. And we're gonna chuck a right here, and we're gonna go and see what's gone on with um, some of the other archers. So I know Arbok is over here with Loscop, so I think it might be nice to stop by their place now. Because this is how we saw it. All right, so the path has developed a little bit since last we came, and it carries on that way. We'll have a look and see what's up that way in a bit, but let's have a look up here. Remember in the last episode, I think we came in and looking, it was a work in progress, very definitely. Now that's come on a bit, isn't it? Blimey. What have you done, boys? Let's have a look. Up we go. I'm a burglar. Whoa! Almost, <laughs> almost fell off the end. That would have been bad. We're coming around. Let's 
go down a little bit more. You boys are all over, aren't you? Brilliant. So, they have done some good work there. I'm going to go and have a look and see what's going on at the... Whoa, almost fell off. Let's go and see if we can see what's going on over here. So I'm wandering along down this road at the side of Loscoff and Arbox Place, which is very definitely leading somewhere. This is a nice road. I like the way it's been put together. But I don't know what's at the other end, so it's got to be something here, right? Right, okay, so that is not natural. I don't care what anybody says, that is not a natural rock formation. So what's going on down here? Is someone's house? The spider's cave. The spider's cave. What, what does that actually mean? Let's have a look. Let's close that door so no one creeps up behind me. So in here we've got... We've got some large chests. Oh, what have we got? Some various little bits and pieces. Oh, we've got a spawner. Is that a spider spawner? Have we got a spider farm? Brilliant! We've got an actual spider farm. How did we get a spider spawner? Is that the naturally occurring place of the spawner or has somebody managed to get a silk touch? Right, whoever made this... Whoever made this out of you archer people, let me... That, I just heard you. I just heard you. I can kill you some more. Look, there we go. Come for me, Spider-Man. Oh, you got me! I'm going to kill you first. There we go. So I've got some string now. That's cool. That's really cool. Well done, archer person that did that. It is night time. I'm a little bit nervous wandering around. So I think let's get to the next place. If I carry on down this way, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up near my place and that's not what I'm trying to achieve I want to see other people's stuff um, right so I'll go be back once I've found someone else's place right well I died which wasn't very nice so I've very quickly um, grabbed some iron and made another sword because I died and I can't get back there because there's loads of stuff there and I made a little bit of armor and a sword and picked up some apples from the spawn storage and um, there's a there's a wall there's a wall that has started to grow around the spawn which is really cool because that's actually something I wanted to do so I'm really pleased that that's getting done and um, the spawn stretches all the way to here you can see that's kind of the gate out of the spawn and we are now traveling along here right so I'm gonna have a go at you I've got armor now so I'm gonna kill you there we go oh, it's it's a fight to death it may be my death yes it was my death oh for goodness sake now, I'm going to be respawning again, again, for the second time, back in, <laughs> back in uh, Jax's place, because that's where I last slept. I'm going to have to make a run for it, back to spawn, which is not something I really wanted to do, which is very grrr. So, let's crack on, I want to avoid that zombie there, and uh, I'll be back once I've got to the safety of the spawn. And we have found, oh, we'll see you later, Jax, we found some here. Now, I don't know whose this is, but looking at the build style, I would say this is the absolute awesome Louis de Puy. But this is a guess, because he is a, a builder of absolute amazingness. Louis Ralph, see, I knew it was you, Louis. I knew it was you. What have you done? What have you done, mate? You've done something a bit special here. Look at this. What have we got? I'm going to have a look in here. We've got... You've got loads of stuff going on. You've got all kinds. You've got potions going already. Hey, eh? that's not right. Hey, eh? you've got potions already. Everybody's so far ahead of me. It's ridiculous. We're going up. We're going up. We're going up. Right, so we're at the top of his tower, which is where his bed is, of course. This is nice. I like it, Louis. You've done a good thing here. Let's come down and have a look at what else you've got. That's not the door. This is the door. Out the door. What else you've got over here, buddy? We've got... That's lots of hay. That's an awful lot of hay for haystacks right inside here. We've got... This is your barn. This is amazing. Look, you've got a cow and everything. This is a cow called Daisy. Mate, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. I love it. You've got all sorts going on. This is lovely. Really nice. I, ow. Really nice. What... I'm pressing the buttons randomly. I know they're for decoration, but I, but I can press them if I want. What we got down? We've got... You've never. You haven't. Oh, I thought for a minute there you'd done like some kind of clever minecart system. I was going to get really cross with you. So, that... That is Louis de uh, Is Look at that. Look at that. It's just brilliant. I love it, mate. That's really, really nice. I love what you've done there. 
Look at that, you've got a cauldron dangling down on there. I've not seen that in, well, since one of your videos actually, mate. That is nice. Go and check out Louis de Pui. He's got some amazing, amazing builds on his channel. Right, okay, well, I promised you that I was going to try and do something with command blocks. So I guess now is the time for me to see if I can't do that. So I'm just going to go over to my place, which is over here. Oh, and by the way, um, I've done some work on that one as well. And uh, I'll introduce you to what I've done in my place before I do the command blocks. And we will be over there in just a minute. So we're getting closer to my gaff here. And you can see in the distance, I have managed to finish it off. And let's get up here, up here, up here. And you can see I've had to use quite a lot of spruce. So there's quite a number of trees that are now missing from this area. But I've finished it off. I've made it a little bit taller. That middle section is now roofed off. We've got a nice... Um, Kind of what would you call that more like a balcony i suppose going around the outside so let's come around here it's a little bit straight i might have to do something about the detailing of this i've not quite finished with it it's a little bit up and down still i need more detail if you remember, remember what louis done with all his stuff it just looked awesome with the detail so i need to do a little bit more work on that but let's go inside and have a look and see what we've got inside here so not really done anything more on the downstairs except for the cave which we will go and have a look at in a minute but if I go up these stairs you can see we have now got a completed area around here I've not filled it up with anything yet and but it's it's pretty much just a, a, a case for now if you like so we've got this veranda out here which is we're gonna stretch a bridge over to that side I think we're gonna do from here eventually I've not done that yet that'll be something for a future episode then coming around this way here we come up this brings us out on this level because it's nice to have two entrances um, every grand house has a couple of entrances right and then up here we've got the upstairs area so if I just come up here and I'll show you what we've done here this is again it's all empty right now this is all empty it's just a shell and um, we come around we've got all the way around we can see our kingdom we can see the jungle over there I've still not explored the jungle I'm gonna go and have a right old mooch there other people have clearly already done it given they've got cocoa beans and ocelots and such but I'm gonna get over there pretty soon so let's get down here and I just want to show you the cave because the cave is something I work quite hard on um, to I don't know, just, just to sum it as a bit of a point of interest. So all the way down underneath, we have got the cave. This is the bit I like. This is the bit that I've probably spent the most time on in the whole house. So inside here, we've got our cave, which has got various bits of grey carpet to give it a little bit more texture. We've got some crafting and some little bits of water and a little bit of grass. To, I've got armor stands, but no armor. That's waiting. It is ready and waiting. I've got more storage. We've got a little bit of a farm. It's only a little tiddy bit. It's more for look than for actually producing food. And then over here, I've got my enchantment area. It takes a lot of time to gather the necessary resources to make an enchanting area like this. I forgot just how much time it takes in survival to do that. And this is my case where I'm going to put lapis that I have yet to farm. And in here, that's my mine. I'm not going down there yet because it's not a safe mine, but that will be the mine. Right, so now I promised you command block. So let's crack on with that. So I'm back in the spawn because when you do one of these contraptions, you really need to be in the spawn chunks. And if you don't know what the spawn chunks are, the spawn chunks are a group of chunks around the spawn point of your world. And why it's important for that to be the area that you build this contraption is because it is always loaded. You always have this area loaded. No matter where you are in the world, this area will always be loaded. Therefore, anything that's in this area will also always be loaded. And this sleeping contraption is something you're going to really, really want to be loaded all the time. Because no matter where you sleep, you want it to, to work. If it's outside of the spawn chunks, which is why I couldn't build it at my house, for example, then it's not just going to work. It's just not going to work at all. So this is specifically, specifically for... Uh, the spawn area. It's also good if you want to do other contraptions that are always working as well and always loaded. So this is why some farms that are AFK farms, maybe you want to do them in the spawn chunk because then they'll continue to work even when you're not um, near them, even when they're not loaded. So that's a little good tip. Now you can find your spawn chunk dead easy. Get yourself a compass. Now I know where my spawn chunk is obviously because I built a spawn area, but if um, you look at your compass, you can see the needle always points towards the center of your spawn. If I walk past the center of my spawn, you'll notice the needle 
is moving away and I'll turn and it's pointing back towards the house. So build yourself a compass and you'll be able to find your spawn chunk pretty simply. So I've all passed the spawn chunk. Boom, there it is. You can see that's exactly where the center of my spawn is. I knew that already, but you might not. But then you need to get to the point where you can uh, actually get in some command blocks. So let's grab myself some command blocks. <laughs> Now the only way you're going to get a command block in Minecraft is to be in creative mode. Now I can go into creative mode by just typing the really simple command slash game mode or one word space one. That will put me into creative mode because I'm the administrator of this server. I set it up so I've got the necessary power to be able to do that. I'm OP. If you aren't allowed to do that with that command, if it says no, you're not OP on the server and you either need to get whoever's OP on the server or if you're playing a single player, go into land mode and create yourself the cheats there. Um, but then you can bring command blocks into the world. Don't tell anyone I've gone on to creative because it's a little bit cheaty. This is after all an SMP, but I'm just doing it for this. Then type in the command slash give avamance. Don't you type avamance or it will give it to me unless I'm not on the server, then it won't. Give avamance, put your name in there. Minecraft colon command underscore block there we go and you see it gave me a command block so make sure you again type in slash give your name minecraft colon command underscore block and that will give you the necessary command block to be able to do this bit now I'm going to go and get this set up so this is the pattern that you need to put your command blocks in you've got six running along the back and then in the first one you've got one prong coming down the third one you've got one prong coming down and the last one the sixth one you've got two prongs coming down and that is because these ones at the bottom are chain blocks i.e they will only activate when they're told to by this one you can see the arrows are pointing downwards which means that if this one is a true command, I, it kind of does a check if you like. If it is, it will do that. If it's not, then that one won't get done. You can see they're different colours. Now the reason they're different colours are because these are set to repeat and these green ones here are set to chain. You can see they're condi chain, conditional and needs redstone, but we're going to change the needs redstone in a minute. And these ones are repeat, unconditional and again they're at needs redstone at the moment because we don't want them to be activated. Um, but you know you've done it right because those ones will be blue, a purpley blue colour and these ones will be green. And then what you want to do is you want to be looking at them in this way. So you can see I have labelled them up A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J and they are the order of the commands that are in the description below. If you go into the description they're marked A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J so you can do them in the right order. So go, what I recommend you do is go down, pause the video, go down into the description below and cut and paste those um, nine commands into notes or something that you can then paste back into your command blocks at a later date. The next thing we've got to do is we've got to put some communications into the chat, some commands into chat. On the screen now you can see four commands that we're going to be putting into chat to enable us to I don't know, set this up. Basically, we only need to do this once, but it will set up a scoreboard, so it's something that the game can kind of keep track of what it is we're doing at the moment on all the players. And it will also allow us, as an OP player, because if you're doing this, you're already an OP player on the server, to not get completely inundated with a load of messages every time someone tries to have a little bit of a kip, which is absolute nightmarish type stuff. So those four commands that you can see on the screen, they're the ones that you want to just one at a time cut and paste into your chat and that will set everything up. So our command blocks are set, the server is set because we put those things into chat. All you've now got to do is to cut and paste these things from A through J into the console command section. Literally cut and paste them. If you find you get a little squiggly thing at the end that sometimes when you cut and paste you get a really weird symbol, get rid of that symbol, just delete it and it'll work absolutely fine. So what we're doing here is getting ready to um, add a point of sleep, a sleep point. Every tick that you're asleep, you get a point. Um, so when one person gets into a bed, the, the sleep point gets increased. And then if that's true, then it enables a kick bed command, which means basically that the other players, if they don't want that player to be sleeping because they're doing something that requires nighttime, for example, you can kick them out of the bed and just get them to wait. 
Then, this one, this actually makes, tells everybody that someone's gone to bed and gives a colored command in the chat that you can click on. And that's what that um, command is for. This then creates again more sleep conditions. So as um, basically starts everybody off on a minimum sleep score of zero. So as you've got a baseline on which to count upon. And if that's true, then it triggers the kick bed command that we set up in block B. And then coming across to this number four here. Uh, it takes a hundred ticks of sleep to be able to progress uh, a sleep session. So this is basically adding 100 ticks into the sleep session once someone has been asleep for 110, irrelevant of whether someone else has. This one checks whether or not you've been asleep for more than 230 points. Now, sometimes if it's really raining and you're getting rained on, it doesn't let you wake up because it's still dark, right? So it changes the weather to clear and you can automatically then just wake up. Also means that you wake up to a nice sunny day, which is always good. And then this is the selector where we can make sure we can generate a snowball, because if someone's ready to be kick bedded, we can generate a snowball from here, which slaps the poor sleeper in the mush and wakes them up. So as you can get, I don't know, whatever nighttime job it is you're wanting to do. And then this turns the kick bed command off again. So it's quite simple. This is far, far better explained in a video by Zoomavoid, which is where I've got this from. This isn't my contraption at all. This is Zoomavoid managed to put this together for the Hermitcraft server. Much, much better command blockian than me. I've put the link to his video down below if you want to go through that as well. Maybe this one doesn't make sense, but possibly his one will. So the last thing we've got to do is to change needs redstone to always active. If it's always active, it means you don't have to press a button to make it happen. So change that to always active and do the same to every single one. Always active. And don't forget to click the done and that will make that active. Needs redstone, always active. And then exactly for this one, always active, always active, always active. And finally, always active. Now. Theoretically, that should work, but we're going to have to test it by turning to night time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just going to get that command block out of my way, and we're going to change the um, time set to night. Now, theoretically, if I sleep now, that is going to allow us to put the server back to daytime without Jax and the others on the server having to sleep at the same time. So the sun is just setting in the distance. It is about to be night time. We're about to get encroached on by a gazillion, gazillion nasties that are all going to try and eat our faces. But it's okay. Jax is on the system. He is nowhere near a bed. He can't sleep. Baboon Bob was on the system. He might still be on it. I don't know. Let's get inside here and have a little kip. I hope it works. It should take up to about 15 ish seconds. So I'm going to have a little sleep gets ever so dark hopefully it's still dark for everybody else and any second now we should find that we are up and it's daytime again it works that my friends is how you make a multiplayer server reset the time to the morning even when other people are not sleeping i am so pleased that that worked and there you have it that is the end of this episode it was really good to see some of the other guys and what they've done they're doing some amazing things i am properly gonna have to get a wriggle on to catch up with what they've done because i'm a million miles behind but more importantly now only one of us has to sleep which is brilliant i'm really pleased because it is a pain when there are five or six of you on and it's night time and you're out there with your sword and your metal hat on and you can't sleep because other people aren't sleeping. It is a nightmare. Brilliant. So please do feel free to use that tutorial. Many, many thanks to Exumavoid for putting that one together. You are a genius, sir. If you've enjoyed that video, please do make sure you slap that like button. Make sure you hit the sub button while you're there and the notifications bell. I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. You take it easy now. Bye.